I be so sick of you niggas, y'all yeah, talking pigtail. I be so bold with myself, girl, you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, step and get one round me. Treat me like all the right, compare me out. Arguments, you air me out. Trip about you, whereabouts. I can't keep no conflict with you, boy, can we just rub it out? I don't want no sex with you, you know you my thug and I can see. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently Sunday and Sundays are spent one of two ways for me. They're either really productive or I'm really lazy. But today is going to be a productive Sunday. As you can see, I'm in a new environment and I spent the night at my sister's last night. So I'm over here. We're about to go to the store. I need to do some shopping. I need to get more hygiene necessity products. We're gonna go to the neighborhood Walmart that's close by here and see if they have everything. And if they don't have everything, then we're gonna go to the actual Walmart. And then we also need to go to Target because I'm gonna go ahead and buy a new nightstand to replace that old one I have. That way I have two matching nightstands. And then what else am I doing today? My pictures for my photo wall came in on Tuesday and then my double-sided tape came in yesterday for the wall. So I might start um, working on my wall a little bit later on today, depending on how I feel after being out and about and everything like that. But we'll see. I also ordered my desk chair, but that's not supposed to be here until Thursday or Friday. So you guys will still see it in this vlog because I'm going to take you guys actually on a couple of productive days in my life. So if I don't finish my photo wall today, I'm going to finish it when I finish it. And it's still going to be in this vlog as well as when my desk chair comes and I build that and set up my desk chair and everything like that, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda. That's what the plan is. I'm going with the flow. Not really going with the flow, but we're going with the flow. And yeah, my sister's currently getting ready, but we'll be heading out as soon as she's ready. Also, ignore my press-on nails. They popped off. They will be getting glued back on, so don't worry. They won't be like this the entire video. They won't even be like this all day. As soon as we stop by the house on the way to the big Walmart or Target, depending on if the neighborhood Walmart has everything, I'm going to glue them back on, so they'll be fixed. Also, ignore my lashes. They were not working with me today at all, and that's just where we're at. So yeah. Welcome to the vlog. Before we head out, I want to do a quick little fit check. Obviously, you already know I'm wearing black everything. You already know. You already know the drill at this point. You know. I'm wearing this crop top from Sheen. I'm wearing these leggings also from Sheen as well. And then I'm wearing my Converse that you guys saw me get a journeys when I was down in Austin for my birthday. So, but yeah, this is the fit. Nice, cute, and casual because it's supposed to be hot today, which I don't know why I'm wearing black if it's going to be really hot today, but we're doing it anyway. It's supposed to get up to 104 degrees, I think, today. Let me see. It's supposed to get up to 105, but right now it's currently 92, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It feels like 100 degrees outside, so well, I think it's the exact moment, and we haven't even left the house yet, so it's going to probably feel worse, but it's whatever. It's nice and breathable. That's all I care about at this point, and we're mostly going to be inside. I put on my sunscreen, so we're good to go. Alright, so it is later on in the day. We are back home. While I'm back home, I'm all comfortable and everything like that. I took a bomb nap. A bomb one. But now I want to show you guys everything that I got from the store because I never showed you guys. We went to Walmart and Target. And so, from Target, I got my nightstand. It matches that what I have over there on that side of the bed. I'm going to put it over here. That way I have matching nightstands. And then I also got a book from Target. I got Pretend Your Mind by Lucy Score. I needed a new book 
So I got one. I was really pushing it, getting a book, but I got a book. Now for the things I got from Walmart, which is all my necessities and like hygiene stuff I got for the most part and cleaning stuff. Got some Neutrogena moisturizer. I got some Wet n Wild translucent powder. I love their banana powder. Like that thing sets my face so well. So I want to try their translucent powder and see how well it can set my face whenever I'm done doing makeup because my current one doesn't do it so well and I have oily skin. And since the banana powder is really good with oily skin, I want to try out the translucent and see how that goes. I got some CeraVe vitamin C serum. I'm trying to add this to my morning routine. So I went ahead and got it. I'm trying to clear up some hyperpigmentation and old acne scars I have on my face and also prevent them from coming. So I know vitamin C is really good with that. I've reached that age that I need to start using it anyway. So got some vitamin C, got some of my Dove deodorant. I got me some floss and then I got me some more toothpaste got me some more lotion i got more spf for my face because it is not a big bottle of spf it's like really small and i'm terrified of running out so i wanted to get extra just in case that way i have it and i just started using this spf but i really love it so if you're looking for spf that has no white cast it's the brand Skin Proud, and you can get it at Walmart. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think it was eight bucks, so it's pretty inexpensive, but it's kind of small for eight bucks, though, to be completely honest. I got some more Dove Sensitive Soap. I got me some heavy duty wet cloths with my Swiffer. And then the last thing I got was this e.l.f. setting spray. I needed some new setting spray that's good for oily skin. And I heard that the e.l.f. one is pretty good. I love e.l.f., I use a lot of the makeup brushes, and e.l.f. is just a nice, affordable brand that I've heard a lot about, and I heard that this mist is really good for oily skin so i want to give it a try it was only 10 bucks so i was like why not try it so we're gonna try it and see how it goes but that is everything i got from the store today not a lot of stuff so i'm still surprised on how i spent over 100 bucks today but we did and i'm gonna build my nightstand tonight just get that box out of my room and move this old nightstand out and switch everything over um that's the one thing i'm gonna do tonight and then i think i'm gonna start hanging up some of my pictures on my photo wall because my double-sided tape came in so we're gonna hang probably hang some pictures up tonight and then my photos also came in so we're gonna start that process a little bit tonight as well see how it goes because depending on how i feel after i do this night stand we're not doing it um today was supposed to be productive i felt like we were productive the first half of the day and then it was just everything caught up with me and i was tired so that's why i took a nap and now i just got a random burst of energy so we're gonna build the night stand up see how i feel after that and then start the wall I just got done building the nightstand. It's pretty late, so I'm not gonna switch them out today. I'm gonna go ahead and just save that for tomorrow. So we'll pick this back up tomorrow because I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to bed. All right, guys, it is the next day. That means we're gonna get to work on my room. So what I'm gonna do now is I had to strip my bed sheet because my sister spent the night and she brought her cat and her cat was in my bed, so I have to wash my bed spread. So I already did that, put it in the washer and everything like that. Now I'm about to switch over the nightstands and put the new one in the old one's place and move everything that's in that drawer. Also clean out stuff that's in that drawer that's just been sitting there that I really don't use that aren't like memorable stuff that just don't need to be there anymore. So I'm gonna throw that stuff away. I'm gonna keep the things I want to keep in there, but I'm gonna switch them out. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna get started on the photo wall and hopefully finish that up today. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so I just got done finishing up my photo wall. And then of course the dresser is in its place. So I now have matching dressers. And then here is the photo wall completed. I'm just gonna leave the bottom as it is. I'm gonna have to find some pictures, horizontal pictures to go right there because it looks awkward like that. But I finished it. It only took me the whole afternoon. And then I have my old nightstand just chilling right here for now until I throw it out. But yeah, that is it for today. Now I'm gonna wait until my desk chair comes in because that comes in either Thursday or Friday. I'm gonna build that up and then I also have these little knobs. I had them for a few months now and I am meaning to install them on my desk. So when my desk chair gets here, I'm gonna just go ahead and do all my desk stuff together. So when my chair gets here, I'm build up the chair and then I'm also gonna install these little knobs on my drawers. That way that could be complete and my desk can be officially done and my room will be done for now because everything is updated so far the only thing i need to do is find some pictures but i will find those at a later time i'm like i'm not too worried about having pictures in my room because i have a photo wall so i'm not too worried about the pictures at the moment but yeah that's all i'm doing today until my desk chair comes in so i'll talk to you guys then all right it's the next day i'm so excited my desk chair it came early it wasn't supposed to be here till thursday or friday and it is tuesday and it's here so i'm gonna build it now and get my desk all set up and then i'll also go ahead and put my little knobs on that i was talking about yesterday but yeah i'm really excited i can't wait for you guys to see the chair i can't wait to see what the chair looks like in my room i think it's gonna look so cute the first thing i'm actually gonna go ahead and do is take this chair in my room it's one of our game room chairs that i've been using as a desk chair for like the past six months at this point so i'm gonna go put that up where it's supposed to go and take all my blanks off and put them to the side to get washed because it's time for them to be washed anyway and then i'll come back and we'll start building up this chair <laughs> We love it. I bought the chair from Amazon and it reclines and it has a little footrest. So nice. I can relax in my new chair. Now I need to clean up this huge mess back there because this is all from the chair packaging. So I gotta pick that up and then this building this chair took me longer than I anticipated. So I now need to get started on the drawer handles and screwing those in and deciding if I want to do two or I want to do one for each drawer. I think I'm going to do one because I think two would be too much for these two drawers. For these ones, I think this is just one. Hopefully that's center it. I think I'm just going to do the one. I have six total, so I could do two if I wanted to, but I'm just not sure how it's going to look. But I want to make the final decision before I start drilling because can't cover that up once I drill a hole, especially in the center. So I'm going to get my mom's opinion and then I'm going to get started on that. And hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to mark it up and drill the holes in. I'm not looking forward to that. So it has been a couple days and I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. So I tried to put the little handles on, but I couldn't screw it in. Like I couldn't drill the holes on the drawers. So I just took it out and I'm gonna try drilling holes again with it off of the desk to see if I can get it in there because I wasn't able to do it straight on. But I think it's because I can't apply as much pressure. So I took it out and we're gonna try again with it on my bed. I'm gonna try doing it like this 
and see if I can get the hole in because I really want these handles on. And I know it's possible because I saw a TikTok of a girl's desk set up and she had the same exact desk and she put handles on it and it was the cutest thing. So I want the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm determined to put these handles on. So I'm gonna do that really fast, hopefully. And I will check in with you guys. All right, I'm so happy I was able to get it on right there now i gotta do that one but i was able to get this one on it took a couple tries of me doing the drill bit but i got it All right, so I finished it. So here's the final look. Aren't they beautiful? The handles look great. Ignore my messy drawers, but they look great. I like them. They fit so well. And then there's also my chair. We love her, she's cute. And I have my little blanket over here because I always get cold sitting at my desk. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. This vlog definitely took more than a couple of days, but I got all I wanted to get done and I was pretty productive while I was at it. So I would still say it's been a very productive vlog. I was having trouble with these drawers and I just, it was not it yesterday when I was trying. I was, I was over it. Like I built the chair and then I was like, this hole is now drilling. I'm not doing this today. So we saved it for a different day and it worked out. Everything's complete. So that is it for this vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this productive vlog and going shopping with me and getting my room together. If you have made it this far into the video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next one.